rugged and unforgiving. It's little wonder they used to call it Heartbreak Corner. It has been pretty tough for the last 15 or so years. We've only had a couple of years um, where we have had a sort of a break. Meg represents the fifth generation of the Rutledge family to call Mobile Station home. For nearly 100 years, they've celebrated good years and are once again enduring the dry. We just um, keep our chins up and keep going. 120,000 acres worked by young men and women committed to seeing this drought through whatever way they can. Fencing to keep wild dogs out is expensive but necessary. Rather than just chasing your tail, you do feel like you're getting something done still. Fencing during times of drought provides a focus and a sense of moving forward. A long way forward. This stretch alone, 180 k's. But it'll be probably another four, four to five months and it should hopefully have it done. You've got to be optimistic, otherwise you you just go mad, I suppose. Plenty of time to think when you're fencing. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, it's definitely plenty of thinking time. What do you think about? When it's going to rain. <laughs> That's at the back of everyone's mind out here. I've seen, seen times with Margaret there where, you know, I think she sort of said, this is, this is sort of enough, you know, and, but, yeah, you get through it. At Kaladi Park, 80 kilometres west of Charleville, it's feeding time for the Vetter's Drought Master cattle. They love it, but feed like this doesn't come cheap. You know, we've been here almost 40 years and yeah, it's, this is the, yeah, the driest we've seen it. Feed prices have spiked because demand is so high. During drought, income drops and costs rise. The impact reaches everyone. You've got to use your local town, keep spending there to keep them going. But um, if we don't have enough money, it just doesn't go around. What is around in spades out here is optimism and a work ethic that's inspiring. As sure as night follows day, that's what will get them through. Combank says last Valentine's Day, its customers spent $13.6 million on dinner, $7 million on drinks and $3.2 million on flowers. The most romantic age group appears to be 26 to 35 year olds, accounting for 36% of all restaurant spending and almost 40% of all flower purchases. Last time Ryan's friends say they saw him was around midnight Sunday when they parted ways out the front of the liquid nightclub. He then crossed this busy road. A few minutes later, CCTV cameras filmed him walking here near the Jack Hotel at this busy intersection. He then travelled around 80 metres before his final stop here where he curled up in the bottom of this driveway. But why he was here at all remains a mystery when his accommodation was in the opposite direction.